I have weighed your submissions in what no doubt is a deeply vexing dispute for the members of the Price family. But before offering my judgment in the matter, let me say this. As vexing as it is, the matter at hand has repercussions beyond the Price family. The fate and proper administration of legacy investments will impact tens of thousands of South Africans who are variously employed and invested in the firm. And so, what begins as a domestic dispute ripples outwards into the broader society and must be treated with an appropriate delicacy. The burden of proof rests with the applicant to show on a balance of probabilities that Mrs. Price exercised undue influence on the drafting of her husband's final will. While the applicant's submissions have certainly raised questions about Mrs. Price, in my view, they have failed to satisfactorily answer them. I therefore find that the will was the last will and testament of Mr. Price. When he drafted the will, he was mentally capable of appreciating the nature and effects of his act and that the applicant has not proved a case that he was mentally incapable. The applicant's case is dismissed with costs. You know, Dinell, the letter you read in court today, I admit I was wrong. What you and Sebastian had, it's once in a lifetime. I understand why you still so caught up in him. Yeah, we were, we were meant for each other. But, uh, now we're right. I need to start to find a way of life beyond being just Sebastian's widow. You know, you've, you've never just been anything. You're extraordinary, you know. Anyway, I just came to offer my congrats. Madam CEO.